configure trunks addressing table six PCs and three switches trunks are required to pass VLAN information between switches a port on a switch is either an access port or a trunk port access ports carry traffic from a specific VLAN assigned to the port a trunk port by default is a member of all VLANs. Verify VLANs. Display the current VLANs. On S1, issue the command that will display all VLANs configured. Okay, access S1, click here. Enter. Go to privilege checksum mode with enable command and show VLAN brief. Enter. There should be 10 VLANs in total. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Notice that all 26 access ports on the switch are assigned to VLAN 1. Okay, 26 ports assigned to default VLAN, VLAN 1. On S2 and S3 displayed and verified, all the VLANs are configured and assigned to the correct switch ports according to the addressing table. Okay, S2. Enter, enable, show VLAN brief. Enter. Okay, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 10 belongs and faucet alternate 11 to VLAN 10. Fast Ethernet 11 to VLAN 10. Fast Ethernet 18 to VLAN 20. Fast Ethernet 18 to VLAN 20. Fast Ethernet 6 to VLAN 30. 6 to VLAN 30. Very good. Okay. 11 to 10, 18 to 20, 6 to 30. Very good. And S3. Enter, enable, show VLAN brief. Okay, 6 to 30, 6 to 30, 18 to 20, 18 to 20, and 11 to 10, 11 to 10. Ping between hosts on the same VLAN on different switches. Although PC1 and PC4 are on the same network, they cannot ping one another. This is because the ports connecting the switches are assigned to VLAN 1 by default. In order to provide connectivity between the PCs on the same network and VLAN, trunks must be configured. Okay, ping from PC1 to PC4. Common prompt and ping from PC1 to destination 172, 17, 10, 24. 172, 17, 10, 24. Okay, ping is failing. Ping fails and um, ping fails because uh, the gigabit interfaces that connects S2 to S1 and 
the connection between S3 to S1. This interface is by default on S1. Gigabit 01 and 02 are placed on VLAN 1. At least Gigabit 01 and 02 should be trunks or should be placed on VLAN 10. Okay. Configure trunks. Configure trunking on S1 and use VLAN 99 as the native VLAN. Configure gigabit 01 and 02 on S1. And use this example. Use the range gigabit 1 and 2. Okay. S1. Enter configure terminal and interface range to select multiple interfaces gigabit 01 and 02. And switch port mode trunk. Enter. Okay, switch port mode trunk. And configure VLAN 99 as the native VLAN for gigabit 01 and 02. And use switch port trunk native VLAN 99. Enter, exit. Okay. The trunk port takes about a short time to become active due to the spanning tree protocol. After the ports become active, you will periodically receive the following syslog messages. These messages. Okay, this. Um, Natip Bilang Mismatch. Natip Bilang Mismatch is discovered on Gigabit interface. You configured VLAN 99 as the native VLAN on S1. However, S2 and S3 are using VLAN 1 as the default native VLAN as indicated by the syslog message. Okay, although you have a native VLAN mismatch, pings between PCs on the same VLAN are now successful. Explain. Okay, go to PC1 and ping PC4. Both on VLAN 10. Both on VLAN 10. Success. And the answer is, pings are successful because trunking has been enabled on S1. Dynamic trunking protocol DTP has negotiated automatically the other side of the trunk links. S2 and S3 have now automatically configured the ports attached to S1 as trunking ports. Okay, DTP configured uh, gigabit 01 and S2 as trunking port and gigabit 02 on S3 as trunking port. So that, that's why ping is success. Verify trunking is enabled on S2 and S3. On S2 and S3, issue the show interface trunk command to confirm that DTP has successfully negotiated trunking with S1 on S2 and S3. The output also displays information about the trunk interfaces on S2 and S3. Okay, go to S2, enter, enable, show interface trunk, enter. Now you can see on S2, okay. on S2, gigabit 01 is trunk, okay, gigabit 01 on S2. And mode auto. Okay. Auto means the that DTP is in use. Okay. Encapsulation AO2 that one Q. Status is trunking and native VLAN is one. Which active belongs are allowed to cross the trunk? Belongs allowed on gigabit 01. 120, 
review on S3, enter, enable, enable, show interface trunk. Gigabit 02 on S3 is trunking mode auto, DTP in use, AO2 that one queue encapsulation trunking, native VLAN 1. VLAN 1, 10, 20, 30, 88, 99. And review again on S1. Okay, and to go privilege exit mode show interface trunk. Okay, on S1, two trunks, gigabit 01 and 02. Gigabit 01 and gigabit 02. Okay, mode on. That means a static configuration of trunking. When you configure it, this line, switch port mode trunk on gigabit 01 and 02. Encapsulation AO2.1Q status trunking and uses native VLAN 99. Okay, the native VLAN is different but works anyway. Correct the native VLAN mismatch on S2 and S3. Configure VLAN 99 as the native VLAN for the appropriate interfaces on S2 and S3. Okay, go to S2. Configure terminal to select interface gigabit 01. First, switch port mode trunk, a static trunk, and switch port trunk native VLAN 99. Enter, exit. Okay. Port consistency restored. Okay, very good. And S3. Configure terminal interface gigabit 02 in this case. Switch port mode trunk. Okay, is the static trunk. And switch port. Okay, uh, switch port trunk native VLAN 99. Very good. Port consistency restored. Exit. And verify show interface trunk on S2 and show interface trunk. Now it's mode on because it's a static. Before was auto, now it's on. When you configure it, switch port mode trunk. And now uses native VLAN 99. When you configure it, trunk native VLAN 99 and status trunking, encapsulation, very good. S3 and show interface trunk on encapsulation trunking 99. Very good. Verify configurations on S2 and S3. Show interface the number of interface switch for command to verify the native VLAN is now on 99. Okay, on go to S2. Show interface. Okay, in this case, and verify gigabit 01. Gigabit 01. Switch port. Switch port. Okay, space, switch port. And now you can see it's trunk encapsulation dot one q. Trunking native VLAN 99. You sh show VLAN command to display the information. Show VLAN or show VLAN brief. Okay, and uh, you can see no gigabit 01. Here gigabit 02, but no gigabit 01. Okay, uh, show VLAN or show VLAN brief command will show you the access ports, but not the trunking ports. Okay, and uh, space, go to S3, show interface, gigabit 02, space, switch port. Okay, uh, VLAN 99, space, show VLAN brief, 
no gigabit zero two. Here gigabit zero one, no gigabit zero two. Because gigabit zero two is strong. Why is for gigabit zero one on S2 no longer assign it to VLAN one? Okay, because gigabit zero one on S2 is a trunk port and it's not displayed. Completion 100%, thank you very much.